Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a uh, new review. So today we're going to be looking at the Trigun art book. So uh, Trigun is a you know anime from the 90s. If you know it, you know it. Um, I watched this like back in the day when I was a kid. Uh, an Adult Swim, you know, was a... Like, even back then, I, I really loved it. Um, I just love the, you know, Western aesthetic with, like, you know, the bits of, like, sci-fi and stuff like that. It was really cool. And um, Vash, as a character, um, really stood out to me because of his, like, you know, reputation. And then, like, his sense of humor and, like, how he's, like, a... Kind of like a goofball. But, you know, when the when the time comes, when the moment is, is ready, dude, he, he knows how to lock it down and uh, appear as a great force, right? Which is, uh, I don't know, I, I think it's very, it's very different for a protagonist, right? Um, at least at the time, you know, most protagonists, most, like, badass motherfuckers, dude, are badass all the way, or just very, like, you know, uh, somber, right? But Vash had a, had a life to him, you know what I mean? That you don't really see in most uh, edgy protagonists, right? Even though he looks like one, you know? So... Um, like before, I'm gonna, uh, leave the review for the end, right? We're just gonna look through, and then I'll give you my, uh, my, uh, you know, thoughts on it at the very end, right? So, uh, with that said, uh, let's jump into here. So we got this nice cover, um, which I'm assuming is the original illustration that, you know, became this one. Um, I don't think it's the original drawing, maybe just like, uh... A cool, you know, white version on top of black. You know, you know how it is. Yeah. Um, I think this is an illustration made by the original artist. Um, and you can see that the style is a little bit different than before. Uh, Vash's coat is, like, really weird and looks kind of, like, heavy and... I don't know, it has like way too many straps, like straps on straps on straps on straps on straps, you know? Um, we got... We got Wolf in the back with his, uh, cross. Very nice. Meryl and... And, uh... What's her name? Uh, Li Libby? Something Thompson. Millie. Yeah. Millie and Meryl. Same drawing. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah. Just a nice illustration, you know, to uh, show the, uh, you know, the, how line work can change and how colors can change really easily. Um, this is more in the style of the actual show. Dude, what is that dog? What is that? Or a rabbit? What the fuck is that, dude? Ew. I don't like it. Like, in the background? Like, what are these things? Oh, ew. This cat's fine. Everything else, ew. Vash, you look great, you know? Peace and love! Yeah, gotta love this guy, man. And I think this is done with, uh... Actual, like, illustration board or something. You could... You could kind of see the, the painting mistakes right here. Look, see? Yeah, this is all done on cells. Very nice. Which basically means it's painted on glass or like a clear sheet. Look at that. Yeah, I think this is just promotional work that they used uh, to help uh, sell the series, right? Yeah, we have him with the, the train boss. You know, I really like this guy. Like, I like that he was, like, you know, you know, bad, but he had, like, some kind of honor about him, you know? And then we have Legato, who has no fucking honor and no no remorse. And we got Knives, who is uh, just a straight-up psychopath. You know, you know how he is. That's Knives. And uh, Vash has got the two guns here. You know, this, this little negative space makes it seem like his, like his flesh is showing, but it's just... Like, you know, you could just see past it. Uh, it just looks weird to me. Like, if I squint, you'll see, like a, like, a little piece of, like, rib showing or fat coming out. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, 
we have a uh, Vash and we have Wolf, right? Very cool. Look at that. Look at the background. Very simply painted. Um, I'm assuming with watercolor. Like the way the way this is painted seems seems to lead me to believe it's watercolor. Yeah, a lot of nice detail here. Yeah, it's the two boys and you got the two sons, you know, and the crosses. It's it's just really cool. Nicholas Wolf, is that his name? Yeah, we have another one that was like the warping desert, you know. Look at the detail on that gun. Ooh, that's a sexy gun, dude. You know, one thing I really like about Vash is his fucking gun, dude. Arms factory. Nice. Yeah, you got Millie and her giant-ass fucking, like, cross gun. And, uh... And, uh, Meryl with her... With her many, many pistols, right? Very cool. Look at that. Yeah. I think this is like a real version of the gun. Here you go. CG model. Okay, so this is a CG model. Very nice. Yeah. We got Wolfwood and the two girls. We got Vash doing his crazy antics with a gun. You know, you know he is. Right. This ja the Japanese really like this under the boot look. I don't know why they always like showing the bottom of the shoe. Oh yeah, here we go. The final confrontation between Vash and uh, knives. Let's see, what do they use? What kind of medium is this? This is a real rock. The shadow here. It's penciled in. What is this? It seems like marker. It's marker. Yep. It's definitely marker. Yeah, the way the buildup is, it has to be marker. Yep. More painted shit. We have the uh, the the guy, the first the first guy with the big claw arm and the boomerang and the you know screw on his head. Man, he's gigantic. Yeah, Vash, she's messing with them, you know. Just out of reach. Like the little kitty right here. Yeah. We got, uh, we got Legato, right? And then we have uh, knives in the background. And then you can see the, uh, the seed. The big seed ship, right? With the original seed ship. Which, uh, knives basically fucked everyone over. Hard. Yeah, I'm assuming this is done by the original artist. I don't like the way he renders. Like, I like it in the show because it's simplistic, but the the way he's rendering here, there's like there's too much, like it's too high contrast. There's no there's there's no subtlety to the uh, shadow shapes, right? Here it's a little bit better because it's a simple object, but with all the folds and stuff here, right, and all the dirt and grime, it's it's, it's too much. It's it's too much rendering, you know. I prefer the simple, right, two-tone, very nice, simplistic. Here we go. Yep, Vash is Stampede. I guess this is like, like Vash, Knives, and Legato kind of like put into one person. You know, or maybe this is just Legato, you know, and Knives. Showing, like, you know, the, their connection. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, see, this is so much better. It's a, it's a lot simpler. You get an idea, you have, you have a good idea of the texture, and you have very simple colors and, and um, straight blacks that just work. Black fills, right? Look at that background, it's very nice, too. Um, 
think this is done in gouache. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like gouache. Very nice. Yeah, we have Vash. We have, um... What's her name? The, the girl, like, Nina? I don't know. <laughs> that stupid woman. She ruined everything for us. No! The good boy and the bad boy, man. That dichotomy. I think this is... Knives? I'm not sure. Yeah, we got Legato and we have Vash, right? Very cool. Yo, in a way, Legato was a bigger villain than Knives ever was, in a way. So it's cool that they, you know, include him. He's like, he's just like a proxy for, uh, for Knives. When Vash took him out. Even in situations where he knows he could he could kill and win the day, he chooses not to. And there's something really brave in that, you know? Look at that. Look at Vash, dude. The boy. He's about to do the... You know, the thing in his arm. He's a living nuke, basically. Yeah. Meryl Strife, Millie Thompson, it's the girls. I really like Millie, you know? She has that really nice... She's, she's like the... Like the... You know, like not the, the oldest sister or the youngest sister. or But just like, you know, someone in the middle. And, uh, you know, has to take care of, you know, her siblings and shit. But has no problem doing it, you know? We got Meryl, you know? They're like two sisters, man. It's really nice. I really like their relationship. Deringer Merrill. Derringer? I don't know. Stun Gun Millie? What? I think they just got it wrong. Yeah, I think they, they're also named after, like, guns and shit. Yeah, I can see them. Their dichotomy. Always hard working. Nicholas D. Wolfwood. Look at that. Yeah. Really, really great character. And I love the I love the cross that he bears, you know. Legato Blue Summers. I never knew his last name. Dude, what a menacing son of a bitch, dude. Kill me! I want you to do it! Do it! And then he controls Bash to do it himself, dude. Damn. I don't know. I don't, I don't know who's worse, man. Him or, or, or Knives, you know? I guess Knives since he, like, fucked over everyone. in, you know, just in general. Here we go. Oh, her, yeah, her name was Rem. So many characters named Rem, man. Yeah, we have the old crew. Back when everybody was together. Until fucking knives fucked everything up. Million knives. You son of a bitch, dude. Here's the, the gun ho guns, right? Dominique the Cyclops. Maniv the Gale. Ray Ray Die the, the Blade. Mine, the EG Mine. 
Hopper, Hoppered the Gantrip. Alright, whatever that means. Yeah, dude, this guy, I really like this guy's design. You know, I really wish they'd show, like, the actual character model and shit, you know, instead of having just like a, like a, woo snippet and little information, you know, that's, that's, that's a little criminal, right? That, that'll dock some points for the art book. Yeah, and there's a lot of, you know, in, in show shots, which is fine, you know, if it's accompanied with a lot of artwork, but there's, there's a lot of artwork missing, you know. It's like as if someone like screen cut, screen capped a lot of the, uh, of the, uh, book. Film story. Yeah, so I'm guessing these are like little synopsises of the little stories right here. And I guess these are the episodes that correspond. Pretty face, dude. I hope him and Meryl end up together. Probably not, though. No. Isn't the same thing? No, it's not. Yeah, like I said, a little criminal. Right? When you get an art book, you're you're expecting design stuff. You're expecting background art, right? This is a little disappointing. Yep, just... I guess this is just all the episodes and... A couple screen caps. Yeah, this is criminal stuff, man. You know? As much as I do like the show, and I do like the art and the, the look of the show itself... You know, I, I, I prefer to see design stuff. Yeah, this is when he, um... He becomes the ultra passive. Right. Now he's starting to fight the gunho guns. Yep. This guy was cool to kill, and this guy too. I'm actually a droid. God, 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 dude. And, oh, dude, this guy, dude. The, 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 the dude, man. Oh, man. That was real sad when he died. Shot by that damn puppet, dude. And then this is, a. Uh, the episode where Wolfwood uh, eats the bucket, man. Kicks the bucket. And then boom, Legato, dude. He goes off carrying the thing. And then takes down his brother. What a beautiful show, man. Yeah, we have the opening... ...and the ending. Uh, I, honestly, I don't really like the, the opening and ending of this show. It's too, like, just... ...you know, music. And I'd prefer to have, like, you know, some lyrics... ...with it. I'm... I'm assuming this is... ...commentary... Or an interview or something. I can't read Japanese, but uh, if any of you guys can, you know, go for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to stick to the drawings, right? I think he's probably talking about process. Right? This is a very nice drawing. Yeah, with the claw on the guy, and yeah, very nice. Yeah, you can see how scarred up Bash is in this image. Like, I wonder what tore out that chunk of his chest. I 
I'm guessing this is just like a little bonus comic. If you guys are Japanese, good luck with that. Yeah. Hope, you had, hope you enjoyed that little bit. What are these discs for? Like, was this actually, like, discs for the for the real thing, or, like, part of the soundtrack, or is it just, you know, just like, oh, you know, discs, they exist, you know? It's 1990, 98, or whatever, whatever year it was made. Look at that. Love this shot, it's so dynamic. All the little details here, this, this and that, you know? I wonder if there's a Trigun manga. There probably is. Yeah, if you guys are, are hearing any noise, it's probably just because it's raining outside. Here we go, finally some design stuff. Right, so we got Vash. Very nice. And that side view. Him with a gun. Yeah, here's his coat, and then like the body, like the leather suit underneath, right? His glasses. It's very cool, very futuristic. Yeah, it's just like, a, it's almost just like knives. I guess he, I'm guessing he also owns knives? Like, wh where is this? Is it in his leg? Is it this thing? Like, where is, where is this located? Oh, it's, it's his boot knife, I think. Yeah, and then like, they, they come together. Yeah, here you go, the boot knife. Very nice. Yeah, we have a, um, you know, a casual bash. We have a, uh, the uh, alternate identity bash. Yeah, we have scarred up bash. Look at that. This, is, this, see, this is what I'm looking for, man. Yeah, we have his um, arm cannon when it transforms into this big fucking alien gun shit. Look at that. Boom. See how like it breaks off and starts consuming him. Boom, 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 and then, wow, it's so alien, man. That's what I really like about this gun. It's just so like, like, what am I looking at, dude? Wow. For some reason, not an aesthetic you really see that often. And then you have the mechanics of his gun arm, right? That like, you know, and then this comes out. Very nice. Has a lot of kickback. Reminds me of Guts, in a way. Yeah. We have Young... Uh, young Vash and Young Knives, I think. Yeah, or oh, this is Young Vash. I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, I think Knives had long hair. Here you go, Meryl Strife, Millie Thompson. Yeah, her name's Millie Thompson, dude. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, here's Millie, or is it, uh, sorry, Meryl, with her, uh, bunch of, uh, Derringers, or Derringer, whatever, whatever these guns are called, right? This must be heavy, man, in real life. This would be fucking, this would be, like, 20 pounds, 40, like, 20, 30, 40 pounds, at least. I like that they're both well armed, you know? Like, they wouldn't send, like, you know, two random people after Vash. It's probably like, the, they're probably the two most dangerous people in the office, right? Look at that. We have casual Marilyn Millie. Look at that. Here's them in their, um, when they, when they knock out the, gu the, the guards and they take their outfit. 
different emotes from uh, from uh, Millie. Yeah. Yeah, we have um, Meryl's uh, gun design, right? Uh, I guess you could see that there's two bullets for uh, per uh, per shot or per uh, we call it, you know, gun. Which is a uh, 22 magnus. That's that's very weak, but you know, you got a bunch of them. And then we got this big ass fucking like, Phew! and then it shoots this cross, dude. This gun is impressive, man. Like like you know, Meryl's gun is like okay, you know, but fucking Millie's gun is like what the fuck is that thing? How does she even carry that thing around? We got Wolfwood. We got Child Wolfwood. He's got the bunch of guns on the side, right? Yeah. How his cross goes into this motorcycle when he rides it. Very cool. Yeah. Here's his pistol. The pistols that are inside. Um, this is the front and the back. Yeah, and uh, one side you have the machine gun, the Punisher gun, whoa, that's cool. Other side you got a rocket launcher, and uh, it has like this kind of like three-way trigger system. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, you can see how the hand is placed. <gasps> Mysterious animals. Yeah, we have the cat. I don't know who that is. We got um, this weird bird dragon thing rat shit i don't know uh we got rem i like their spacesuits they're really cool designs yeah and then in real life she just has like the t-shirt with the jean combo very cute very of the time i feel like million knives look at that son of a bitch dude yeah, and then we have Knives Gun. Yeah, we got Legato here. And then there's that, that one guy who, uh, Vash, like, scares the fuck, like, puts the fear of God into him, dude. Shows him what a true demon is, man. Wow. Yeah, we got this bitch. Who I guess, like, her eye, like, makes you, like, pause, and she can't, like, you know, he d she does, like, the Dio thing. It's like, oh, I'm actually behind you, bitch. Alright, we got the jazz guy. Yeah, we got the weird, like, I'm a top guy. I don't know how he works, man, but he just, I, I don't like him in terms of, like, the way he looks, you know, but I also like him because of the way he looks. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's just, like, it just, it bothers me, but I like it. Like, like, what is this? Like, it shouldn't be together, you know what I mean? Like, does he just have ridiculous arm strength? Does he just have one tiny arm, one huge arm? Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, we got the big robot fucker. We have the, uh... The other like minister or whatever who carries his own gun I guess his is like an assault rifle version or like a like a, yeah like a p90 version where the bullets are to the side yeah we have the sniper guy we have the kid with the worms and shit the giant worms uh, the Puppet Master. Walls, little puppets. Yeah, we have the Sniper Sniper. Really, this thing, I love how long this thing is, you know, for just super fucking long-range shots. Yeah. Yeah, we have the guys from the first episode. We have, uh, the Gunsmith. And, uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. Some crazy-ass, big-ass gun. I don't know. 
I think it's this guy's gun. The I'm Vash the Stampede, even though I'm not. We got um the twisty fist guy, and then Vash kicks his ass. The last bullet. We have the kidnapped couple, like quote unquote kidnapped. I can't remember who this is. I, don't, I can't remember what episode this girl is from. Alright. So. We got, uh. We finally got some backgrounds right here. Okay. And we have uh, some character, some more character designs, right? So let's, uh. Let's focus on the characters and then we'll go. We'll, we'll head over to the backgrounds. So right here we got the uh, we got the train guys, right? That uh, take over the train. Um, we have the uh, the hillbilly like brothers and sisters and shit, right? And the the mama and the sons that become like the giant ball, right? <clears throat> we have the seed crew, right? That uh, eventually uh, you know are ended by. Uh, my knives. And then we have the future seed crew, which are the ones that Bash sees in the you know, in the present day. Yeah. Here we go. So let's uh, let's let's go into the backgrounds. Yeah, right here we have a um, one of the uh, light bulb plants. Right. I like the giant light bulb design. Right. That was one of the cool, you know, imagery that they have in the in the show. Um, you just have like a regular Pueblo, like Western town, right? Same thing here, right? <clears throat> Reminds me of like a, like a Mexican town, right? You'd seen like Red Dead Redemption or something. Um, you have the uh, the one bar that's in the beginning of the show, the intro of the show, where where you know they shoot it up, they you know smash in half, and there's Vash right there, you know. Um. <laughs> Sorry, that's my cat. He's a, uh, he's been clawing at shit. Yeah. So right here we have a, uh, we have a, um, I don't know, like, what the fuck is this? I think it's like a destroyed town, right? Maybe this is like the remnants of a building. Um, I think this is a place maybe uh, Vash wrecked, you know? With this uh, big old seed arm, right? his big old future arm gun. Yeah, and uh, I think I have no idea what this is. Maybe these are like music tracks. I have no fucking idea. If you guys read um. Japanese, you know, go ahead and take a take a lick gander, right? Yeah, I don't know what this is. Maybe more uh maybe more uh what we call it tabletop contents. Sorry, my cat scratched my back, man. Jesus. Woo! Sorry about that. Here we go. So this is a Yashiro Naito, uh, gun uh, original works. Try get original works. And I'm assuming this is done by the uh, original creator of the uh, maybe manga or wh wherever this started, right? Yeah. Um, I think these are done in, in marker, you know, like pen and ink and then marker, right? Very nice. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. I like this lo I like this finish right here. Um, I think it's better than what they had before, with like the weird texture and shit. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Oh man, we got this edgy pick of Legato, right? And his big old claw, right? I like his, like, shoulder spike thing. It just seems so, like, 
painful, you know? Yeah. We got this nice giant, we got this nice two page spread. Right, we got, we got one side is, uh, Bash, and then we got the villains. We got the gung ho guns right here. Um, I'm assuming that is a uh, what do you call it? Vicious? Not vicious. Sorry, that's uh, that's cowboy bebop. Um, knives. There we go. Yeah, we have wolfwood right here. Maybe these are like very early on, you know, like work's done. This leg, dude. Oh, ew. This leg is fucked up, dude. This is just like a like. There's no mass to this leg at all. It's just like, ew. Yeah, I don't like that. All right? Maybe there's like I said, very early on sketches, you know. Yeah, '96. Right. Yeah, this early Millie and Meryl. Oh, here we go. This is like the one of the famous um, images that would like. This is like you know the the, the him um, at the ending of uh, each episode. They show him you know sitting here with like a bunch of bullet holes right here. Um, I'm guessing this is an early version, right? Um, you can see that like Vash's gun is still like this. This first of all, this looks like. Like a, a gun without a barrel. That's weird, right? Uh, but yeah, this is clearly very, very early on, right? <clears throat> yeah, we have a uh, Vash doing a like a kind of a John Woo like you know jump to the side, right? Um, we have Legato in the background, this guy in the front, yeah. You know. Skull guy. I don't know who the fuck this is. Yeah, it's weird to have this <clears throat> barrel down here, you know, like where we're, like are the bullets going down here instead of up here? Uh, it just seems weird. I think the real gun has like the big barrel here and then like a little like exhaust here. Yeah, this this shoulder looks a little weird. Um, but you know, it inspired the the future show, right? Jacket illustrations. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming these were made for the uh, the uh, CD, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. We got the hillbilly family, right? We got Legato, v uh, Vash, and uh, Knives and Rem. More gun ho guns. More gun ho guns here and here. The uh, first donut, and then the second donut happy pack. I I don't even know. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what the donut thing is. Yeah, so we have this nice illustration with, uh, with both of them, and I'm assuming that this gun thing right here, this is like an early version of uh, his arm, and like this gun would like still be able to operate without, uh, you know, his, uh, like him having to activate it, you know, but uh, instead of a machine gun, it's just a revolver, I'm assuming, right? I guess this may be like a very early sketch. Yeah. And uh, whoop, that looks like that looks like that's it, right? <clears throat> so uh, let's find a good section. Let's go find a good image to uh, to kind of end this on. Yeah, here. Yeah. Let's let's use this. <clears throat> so, uh, do I recommend this book? Right. Um. After going through it, um, if this book is expensive, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't get it, right? 
Uh, there is a lot of great illustrations, right? But there's also a lot of like meh illustrations. Um, there's a lot of what you call it screenshots of the show. Uh, the all the design pages kind of squish all the designs into like a couple pages. Um, I really wish they would have spread that out. You know, included more, included some more background art. Um, I know this is an illustration book, but there's not there's like even the illustrations. Um, there's not that many, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff being taken up by show information, um, a lot of stuff taken up by, um, by the, you know, by the music, um, it's just, you know, it's just very inconsistent in terms of art book, right? When you get an art book, you, you want to see, you know, maybe a lot of pure art, a lot of, um, you know, more, just, uh, design works, right? Um, I think this might be the only art book for Trigun. I might be wrong about that, you know. I'll, I'll look it up, right? Um, but yeah, if this book is expensive, don't get it. If you're a super fan, um, I could recommend it, you know. I think you'll like it anyway if you're a big super fan, you know, and you enjoy this stuff. Um, but personally, for me, you know, even as a, a fan myself, um, I don't think I would recommend buying this book, right? Um, unless it's super cheap. If this was like 30 bucks, you know, go for it, right? Under 30 bucks, go for it. Um, but otherwise, <clears throat> it's too inconsistent. Like I said, uh, has a lot of drawbacks, right? In terms of art books. Uh, maybe there's a, there's a better version. Yeah, I prefer to get like the Setai sheets of this rather than uh, this book because I, I, look, I look more to the design work rather than the illustrations. Um... But yeah, you know, but if you're a super fan, go for it, man. You know, I think you'll definitely enjoy this book, right? I think you'll definitely enjoy um, seeing, like, the early work and see how it's evolved into the actual show, right? Um, so, um, yeah, with that, uh, I, I definitely think, uh, you know, I had a fun time looking at this book. I hope you guys did too, right? Uh, please comment uh, down below. Tell me how you feel about this art, right? Uh, leave a like, subscribe, all that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.